Let's talk about the mysterious, elusive neuroma and what causes a neuroma. I get that a lot in the office too. And basically a neuroma is a coupling. So for example, we have nerves uh, like a cable that go in between the metatarsals here. You can see how small the space is. We call it a space occupying lesion. And on a side note, that OMA ending is a little scary. It's usually attached with uh, oncological problems, but this is not some sort of tumor. It's basically just a thickening. And where the branch stops here, there's a round thickening, uh, kind of like a splitter from a cable and then two branches. So a cable, round splitter, and then two branches. And when it gets big enough in there and you step down, it pinches. And of course, that radiates pain through this area. It makes you feel like you're walking on a ball or something. Uh, can radiate to the toes. But the causes can be just out of nowhere or something obvious, like a patient walking on their uh, balls, their feet over and over on the uh, stair climber at the gym, stone bruise, you know, that type of thing. But it can just come on and the nerve can reach critical mass and get too big and then really swollen. And of course, other problems like injuries, like stress fractures on the metatarsals can make a lot of swelling and also the nerve can pooch out. So the causes um, are variable, but once you do get them, uh, conservative care is number one. We just put you in arch supports, take the pressure off, maybe a cortisone injection to shrink it, but you don't want to have too many of those. Uh, the surgery is less common nowadays. Otherwise, uh, the causes, uh, like I said, are as elusive as the problem. And there's, a, of course, a, a foot type that you can get most of these with, where uh, uh, from high arches, the people who pronate too much. But uh, we really just focus on when you finally do get it, uh, you know, how we're going to shrink it up or take the pressure off because the causes are so variable.